Hello guys, the latest news are that Dan Stankovic is a new manager of Red Star Belgrade or Crvena Zvezda Belgrade. He's going to replace Vladan Milović who did some incredible things for Red Star Belgrade in the last couple of years. Red Star was playing Champions League two times in a row. We still remember win against Liverpool last year in the Champions League. And I really hope that Dan Stankovic will be able to replace Vladan Milović in the right way. Dan Stankovic is a football legend, legend of Inter Milan and Red Star Belgrade, but he doesn't have too much experience uh, as a manager. Anyway, I'm going to do a little experiment. As you see, I have already transferred Dan Stankovic to Red Star Belgrade. He's a new manager of Red Star Belgrade. And I'm going to simulate three years into the future. Then we will see what is going to happen. What kind of results Dan Stankovic will make with Red Star Belgrade. Uh, what kind of players he's going to bring to Red Star Belgrade. So let's go. Let's go to the year 2022. Ok guys, we're in the year 2022 and we see one very interesting thing. After 2 years, 360 days, Dan Stankovic uh, is not anymore a manager of Red Star Belgrade. He is fired. He won the league and he won one cup. Is that enough? I don't think so. Uh, winning percentage only 55. Then he won 86 games, uh, 28 games he drawn and 41 games he lost. That's not that great. Ok, now we are going to check uh, who was winning the title in the last 3 years and we are going to check results of Red Star Belgrade in European competitions. So in the first season Partizan Belgrade won the title 2 points more than Red Star Belgrade. Red Star Belgrade had uh, 74 points, 9 loses, 5 draws and 23 wins. Next season Red Star was champion. Uh, 82 points, same number of points as Partizan Belgrade. This was really interesting season. And the last season, uh, current season, Partizan Belgrade won the title. 87 points, Trukarički second, Vojvodina third place and Red Star only fourth place. This was really terrible season for Dan Stankovic at Red Star Belgrade. Ok, now let's check what Red Star Belgrade did in European competitions. And in the first season with Dan Stankovic qualifications for Champions League, won against Sudu at both games. 2-0, 1-0, then Dundalk, uh, both wins, 1-0, 3-0, after that Ike, 2-1 uh, and 3-3, got to the playoff of Champions League and their loss from Copenhagen, 2-0 and 1-1 at home. So got into the group stage of Euro Cup, uh, there had only one draw against Dinamo Zagreb, lost all the games, both games against Trabzonspor, uh, both games against Roma. Uh, next season played the qualifications for Euro Cup, uh, won against Coops after that, won against Haugensund and in the playoff uh, lost from Trabzonspor, uh, both games 1-0. Uh, then the last season qualifications for Champions League, won against Göteborg, uh, then Sarajevo both wins, uh, won against Basel, wow, fantastic, 1-0 and 1-1 one, one, uh, away game, after that in Champions uh, League playoff lost from Slavia Prague, both games. Played in Group uh, C and there only one point against Austria Vien. I lost both games from Chelsea and lost both games from Olympic Marseille. So Red Star Belgrade was playing in Euro Cup uh, two times and once uh, didn't reach the group stage. Ok, uh, now let's check the best 11 of Red Star Belgrade uh, in the last couple of years. And we see this is the best 11 of Red Star Belgrade. Ben Muhammad as a striker, we see. Uh, then. Who is this? Adamas Gergiu. Who is this? This is some young kid. Uh, he came from Graficar. Okay. Uh, then Matteo Garcia, right side. The Pantic. Uh, from the interesting transfer because uh, this player was playing for Partizan Belgrade. Now he's playing for Red Star Belgrade. So then St Stankovic brought him to, to Crvena Zvezda. Uh, then uh, Jovicic and Kanyas as DMs. Uh, Rodic left back, right back Gobelic, uh, Degenet and Babic as central defenders and Borjan of course as goalkeeper. We see that Mateo Garcia scored 27 goals. Wow! Uh, then 20 goals for Mil Milan Pavkov, 5 goals Marko Marin, um, then we see 11 goals for Dan Lapantic, 14 goals for Adamos uh, Gergiu, Ben Muhammad 13 goals, uh, then 7 goals for Miloš Degenek. Uh, Ok, uh, now let's check all the transfers in the last 3 years. Let's see uh, players that Dan Stankovic uh, brought to Red Star Belgrade. 
So in the first season then Stankovic signed Nemanja Antonov uh, from Uskron on loan and Vukashin Bogdanovic from Vojvodina. Uh, Vukashin Bogdanovic is an interesting kid and he spent only 200,000. Uh, he sold a couple of players. He sold uh, one Lapara to Derby County for almost 1 million, Mir Kivanić to Bate Borisov also almost 1 million, then Tomane to Farmalikao 450,000 and Jander on loan to Ayak Lanakas. Uh, then uh, next season, 2020-2021, uh, he was uh, spending a lot. He spent 4.5 million and the most expensive player was Danilo Pantic from Chelsea. Wow! As I said before, he was playing for Partizan Belgrade. Also, uh, he signed Miroslav Bogalac from Cukarički, 700,000. Um, Milan Rundic from Karvina. Let's check this player. Uh, he's a central defender. Okay, then uh, Marko Minic, Cukarički, Ilija Petrovic, Metalac and a couple of other players. Also, one interesting loan. Dusan Vlahovic from Fiorentina. Wow! Also a player who was playing for Partizan Belgrade. Uh, he sold a couple of players. Uh, Strahinja Rakovic to Chelsea. Wow, this incredible kid, central defender. Sold Milan Jevtovic to Kaiseri Sport, 300,000. Seri Kirka to Zilina. And Nemanja Milunovic to Bate Borisov. And a couple of players on loan. Jander again on loan to Pat Pafos. Okay, and the last season he spent uh, only 450,000. Uh, Vladimir Ksimović from Čukarički, Strahinja Tenesijević, then Uroš Odakovic from Sparta Prague on loan. And a couple of other uh, not so um, famous players, yeah, some kids. Uh, then let's see, did he sell someone? He sold Mateo Garcia to Celta Vigo, 2.5 million. Uroš Milovanović to Vojvodina and the other, and Miloš Vulić to Čukarički. So we see also Jose Canas uh, left uh, to Tenerife and Richmond and Boaké free transfer to Lille. Okay, uh, we see that uh, Dan Stankovic uh, signed some interesting players and he sold almost uh, most of uh, foreign players in the last couple of years. Okay guys, this was my little experiment, what if Dan Stankovic takes control over Red Star Belgrade? I mean, I really hope that Dan Stankovic is going to have much better results with Red Star Belgrade in real life. And don't take this FM experiment too serious, but who knows, maybe FM really can uh, predict the future. Anyway, if you really like watching this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye bye.